Will you do another? No. Shake money. Hey sailors, welcome back to Cruising As Crew. About a week ago, I went and got my hair done. <laughs> um, and I filmed it because I was going to make it into a vlog, but then it accidentally ended up being a bit of an interview with my hairdresser about working for Steiner, being a hairdresser, working on Virgin. So instead of turning it into a vlog, I thought I would just leave it as it is. Um, so this is an interview with Michelle, the girl who did my hair very, very well. She's amazing. So I hope you enjoy it. It's probably a good thing to watch if you're thinking of being a hairdresser for Steiner or working for Steiner as a therapist or something. But yeah, so please enjoy this chat with my hairdresser. Who do you share a cabin with? You know, Valeria, the massage therapist. Oh, you share, oh, you share with her? Yeah. Okay, right. Amazing. Yeah, it's not too bad. That's the first time people party, I think, since. Well, yeah, well. yeah. Yeah, I know, like, on other ships, hallway and cabin parties used to be quite popular. But... That's what everybody says is on, like, the Royal and stuff. Scarlet, there wasn't that much going on. There wasn't really much going on in there at all. Oh, really? I think I've only been in the free bar about three, three times. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm in my bunk now. That's it. Oh. See waking up, it's because we're up so early in the morning. Yeah. Like half six every morning I'm up, you know, and I imagine waking up and then you have to talk to people all day. Yeah. Um, are you booked? Are you've got bookings today? I had one this morning at eight o'clock. Yeah. Um and then it's not too busy now in the afternoon. Yeah. So it's quite quiet. Um so not complaining. At least looking at I can do the laundry. Yeah, no, I used to love port days for that reason because the thing with Steiner is you don't get much time off and then when you do get time off you obviously want to go out in the yeah. port so exactly like I used to do all of my like laundry cleaning my cabin like all of the admin life bits yeah. I used to try and do while it was quiet at work this is it there's no one to go out and enjoy and there's nothing worse so how many contracts have you done one this is my first oh okay yeah. oh of course because you were um transferred yeah so. that's why I'm sort of yeah so how long were you on Scarlet for? Three and a half months. And then you've got two and a half months on here, or yes. two months now. September I'll finish. Will you do another? No. Shite money. Yeah. It's just putting it down to the experience. Like, um, I've enjoyed it that spot. Yeah, no. Make more money at home. Yeah, for sure. And it's nice to get to travel over here. That's, that's been a good thing. Yeah. complain about it. Especially getting to go to Scarlet and then coming over here, so you've sort of seen like double. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. What do you think of Bimini? Yeah, okay, I loved it. It was so pretty. But I bought snorkels and an underwater camera as well. Yeah. So imagine me flapping about. That was every day off, and then you're like, ugh, is that it? Um, and then with one of our managers as well, we actually were we getting Bimini off um, instead of you know getting different ports. Yeah. So I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Especially when you come, you know, to join a ship yeah. and stuff like that. I was like, oh, just why? Bad management. So I was like, um, at the at the end, we ended up getting a new manager, and she let her, literally let us sort of get off at the Key West and swap oh, us. Nice, yeah. The same with here, like every every port that you've um, different ones off, yeah. you know. And then it gives time for people to go and enjoy, you know, the good ports. Yeah. Um, that's what I thought it would have been, but. Not over there. So as you say, every manager's different. That's what I sort of noticed, and they all have like different styles. But some, I mean, yeah, some of them are absolutely atrocious. That's it, apart, honestly. And I'm like, I don't understand how they even get into it. You know what I mean? I think because Steiner are so. The only thing I can put it down to is they're desperate for people. Yeah, very last night. So they're just eager to promote anyone who wants to be promoted. What do you find? Do you like the shops better? I love the shops. Yeah. I mean, the money's still shit. But it's still, you get the but it, balances out when you've got time off. Yeah, but it needs to get time off. Um, yeah. Yeah, but I get, like you, I'm just. Not, I'm not here for the money. If I was here for the money, I'd be in the wrong job, so. Exactly. You know, I don't think, I mean, do it wrong. There are there are jobs on board where you can make serious money. But, but like, um, I just think if you work for a, 
external company like Harding, mm. Steiner, Starboard. Like yeah. the money's just not really there. Yes. I think it used to be um, like 10 years ago, but it's just all different. That's what though. Mark was saying. Like it was better years ago whenever he was on it and stuff. You know? Yeah, he said he absolutely raked it yeah. in. Like, you know, insane money. And I was like, well. But it's like now once it become more. Popular, this, mainstream. Yes, this is it. Off to get people easier. We'll take away, like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So. But apart from the, like, the job side of it, if you enjoyed the other aspects of it. Yeah. I've literally, I've had a ball. Yeah. So I had, you know, it's lovely to, like, you meet lovely people and you get so close to people as well, you know, and it, it's it's crazy because it's like a wee family almost, you know. Yeah. Especially whenever I had to leave um, Scarlet, you know, being transferred, it was like, oh my God, you know, because you just got so used to being with everybody there. And then you're like starting over again, but it wasn't as bad as what I thought it would, would have yeah. been, you know, whereas like most of the girls, they've all done contracts, so they understand it, whereas when it's your first, you're like, oh, this is so weird, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, I've bloody loved it. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah. Can't wait to go home though to, what do you call it, start working again and just yeah. actually start making money again, you know? Yeah. But um, at least I've sort of got a bit of the traveling bug out of me again for a little while. Yeah. Until I come back again. Because um, I'm always like that once I'm at home too long. I'm like, oh, I want to go away again. Yeah. I want to move away. Start applying for jobs. Yeah. God knows where I'll end up. So where have you, have you travelled before? Yeah, so I've lived in the Middle East for like seven years. Great, where, Dubai or where, wow. Dubai and the Emirates, yeah, so I've done a few of them. Did you have your tattoos when you lived in? Yeah. And it was fine? Yeah, it was fine. I worked in Saudi Arabia for a year as well, with the tattoos and stuff. Never bothered anybody. Wow. And I was teaching her over there as well in the academy. So, wow. Um, yeah, surprising, because a lot of them were henna. Right. So like, oh, they're, 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 they're covered in, yeah. Yeah, so like, to them, it's like, obviously it's against their religion having like something that's permanent. But yeah, no, they absolutely love it. It never offended anybody. Surprisingly enough, you know. Um, yeah. yeah, a lot of people are quite open minded there too. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah, I've, I've done there in Australia as well. Wow, and now on a cruise ship? Yeah, I know. Fucking God, no problem. So what made you decide to give cruise ships a go? Uh, I always wanted to do it and then they actually randomly, I always say things fall, like fall in the lap in a way. So someone had contacted me and was saying about the cruise ships and then I was sitting chatting with her. And then it just happened really fast that they put me in Scarlet and then got me here within a few weeks. Um, so I just, I didn't get much time to think about it. So I just went with it. Yeah. So yeah, I suppose if I had a sat and maybe thought about it, I would have been like, mm, I'm not going to go, you know. Yeah, I think if you spend too much time overthinking anything, it's easier to just be like, you know what, I'll leave that. Exactly. And then if you had not maybe asked about and stuff, you know, people had told you, like, shit money, you, probably, you definitely wouldn't have came. Whereas they literally beg you off. You know, like they, I remember them telling me, Oh, like you make minimum three thousand a month or whatever. It's like not even the case. You know what I mean? No. But yeah, that's what I said. I just ended up. I I just put it down to um, experience. You know, and just make the most of it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. How long have you left? Um. So I did two contracts with Steiner. Right. Uh, two nine month contracts um, and then I left I think it was 2018 I was massaged so I was like my wrists uh, mm. and I just wanted to go home for a while and then I went home for a year and was like okay I'm absolutely bored stiff mm. let me try the shops right. so and I came to shops in 2019 and I've been with them ever since obviously taken out 2020 because no yes. one was on ships then so <clears throat> but yeah, no, I love it. As I said, from the massage, like as much as you do earn good money, like you know, but it's I don't think it's worth it for the amount of fucking work you do for it. Oh, you could definitely earn 
more money at home or doing. It's just the hours and stuff like that there that like you don't get a break. The whole day you could be doing massage after massage after massage. Do you know what I mean? And then it's like for what? Like when you when you weigh it out, it's like you know I don't know. I guess. But then I think hair's hard because you stood up you stood up all day. You still it's still quite active, especially if you're doing blow dries and stuff. And also, at least if you're giving someone a massage, you don't have to talk to them generally. Whereas you have yeah. to be mentally like on the ball all day. Yeah, true, actually. So I think they're both hard, but just different. different. Yeah. yeah. It's funny that, isn't it, when you think about it? Yeah. But yeah, that's why I always say that like, you cannot be hungover and, and doing her because you can't not sit and chat with someone. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. why I'm always like, it's not worth it. I remember I had, um, I was hungover and I had a bikini wax in and uh, she was a little bit smelly. Oh God. And oh my God. See, I, I, it, I, had to, I had to leave the room a few times and I just started, oh, I've got to get more wax strips or whatever. But I was like, Whoa. Oh God, <laughs> no. It was oh. so bad. Oh, you see some things. Oh God. I mean, to be honest, I'm earning the same money that I was earning with Steiner in the shops, but at least I get loads of time off oh, to, yeah. to kind of complement it. Yes, it is. So. It balances itself out, you yeah, know what I mean? it does. That's what I said, like for you, it does make sense to turn around and come and do the shops. How does it work on here? Because obviously on other ships, there's a huge push for retail. But on Virgin, I've heard like, you're not allowed to push, you're not allowed to like, so how, but are they still pressuring you? Yeah, they'll still pressure you. So it's like um, you you have to ask. You know, do you want do you want recommendations or anything? Like, do you want me to you know show you a few products or something? And then if they say yes, go ahead. If they say no, that's it. You have to drop it. So I know with the other ones, um, they were saying like you kind of sort of kept going with the questions. You know, like till you got like a yes or whatever. Like here. You're not because you're not allowed to get like a uh, pushy sales comment. Yeah. Um, like, no, I think that's like one of the worst things for them. Um, so, yeah, I don't mind that as well. Like, you know, I'm yeah. like happy days. Um, because of, I don't think if somebody who fucking everybody's got their hairdresser at home, why are you gonna turn around and buy all the products from here? Yeah. Of, you know, somebody that's done your hair once or twice, you know, like that. Yeah, I don't miss that. I do not miss that. And you know, the funny thing is, like, I work in the shops and literally my job is to sell and yeah. nothing else. And there is no pressure. That's Whereas, true. like, on, obviously on Steiner, I was like, well, I came here thinking my job was to give a good massage, but apparently not. It, it's yes. just sell cream and oil. And... Did you have to pay for your uniform? No. No, we don't do that, sir. That's we're lucky with um, the virgin and that. All that's done. I know with other ones, the girls never have chatted with them. They say they had to pay for them. I'm glad that we have you in a form in a way because you're not going into your wardrobe. You're not wearing your own yeah. clothes. Happy days. But yeah, sometimes some of the uniforms I've seen, and then some of them's lovely. Yeah. So 6:30 a.m. and you have to be in work for 7:30. Yeah, we have a meeting. And again. then you have your how a lot the half an hour meeting or maybe a 15 minute meeting and then 15 minutes to set up yeah. if you've got someone in at eight. Yeah. And then we're here all day till nine. Yeah, till nine at night. You'll have your um, two hour break, you know, like during through the whole day. So it'll be your hour lunch and your hour dinner. Um, but yeah, you're here the whole time. So it's long, it's long enough, like, especially like today, I think through the whole fast, it's super, super quiet. Um, even massage wise and stuff, I think everybody's obviously off the ship um, enjoying. But yeah, starting about doing that. So the highlights are on. I look like such a nonce. Um, highlights are on. Gonna let them cook for a bit, so. I'm gonna get a coffee, but yeah, I do feel like a bit of an idiot walking through the ship. Like this. Oh well, it's fine.
Oh, I haven't seen that. Is it good? Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit strange. I like him as an actor. He's Jared Leto. Um, no, it's the older one. Oh my god, I love it. So obviously my hair looked better uh, just after I got it done than it does now. But anyway, um, I really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. I hope you took something from it. If you did, please press like and subscribe because it really helps me out with the algorithm. And as always, I will see you in the next video.